Hey Wanderers, welcome back to the Wandering Gamer Network. Please Lego Harry Potter, you're three! I'm Cody. I'm Zach. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Mandy. You can definitely tell how many recordings we do in a night, <laughs> or which recording it is in the night, based on how high-pitched okay. and excited you are about or it. Or based on how much Diet Coke I spray on my face when I'm trying Did to drink from Diet a straw. Coke? I bought a two liter of Diet Coke when I went to the store oh to buy soap. Oh my gosh. That way I wouldn't <laughs> have to go to the gas station to get my Diet Coke. Ugh. I am disappointed in that because you always buy me candy, so I like going to the gas station. Right? You. I'm. It's very Pavlovian of you. <laughs> right? Like you've trained me to want to go to the gas station with you <laughs> because I get candy. It worked. Doesn't bother me. I spend what five cents in gas, and you buy me a candy. Guys, if you ever want to hang out with your friends and you don't know what to do, might I suggest just go to the gas station? This is why Indiana sucks. <laughs> we were just defending Indiana like two episodes ago. <laughs> Apparently it's not great. No, you can't go to the gingerbread fortress. Here's the thing. It's not that Indiana. Harry, put on a robe. You're basically wizard naked. <laughs> okay, well, here's the other thing that gets me about, like, just the books in general, is that Mrs. Weasley knows how to dress like a muggle because she makes some sweaters every year. Yeah, but, but wizards Mr. can we wear sweaters over their dresses. But Mr. Weasley doesn't understand how... Muggles dress. No, Mr. Weasley does actually. I thought well, he, it's just no. Mr. Just, Weasley's good at it. Because oh, you're he's, right. He's, he's so he's, fascinating. You're right. Yeah, because he works with Muggles. That's like his whole jam. Well, no, but the the what makes him quote not he looks good. Dead. <laughs> oh, I don't care about this. Well, he like doesn't understand what stuff. Well, is it, all it's the time. like if he had a choice, he'd wear like a dress shirt with something. Like you know what I mean? It's like he's not. Well, like, when they described him in the fourth book, that was the only time he's ever worn muggle clothes. It was, like, really described. And he was wearing, like, a button-down shirt tucked into jeans with leather boots and a bomber jacket. And all of it was, like, kind of the wrong size. So he just kind of looked a little bit, like, too... He was, like, dressed a little bit, like, frumpy, but he was, like, basically got it. You know? I'm... I'm lost. Go... Uh, go back. Go towards the arrow. No, what cauldron arrow. are we putting it in? It'll be in that one. You have to shoot him with the pixie spell. Oh, there he is. Okay. Blue spell it up. Because I have a thing in my hand. Yeah, we'll we'll do we'll, we'll do that later. That's oh, just oh, apparently we went the wrong way. Okay. I'm really paying attention right now. No, but it's not that Indiana's <laughs> terrible. It's that we're terrible. What do you mean? Like we live in a we live within ten minutes of a lot of like local breweries and pubs and like. What's the term for, like, indie food places? Indie food places? Is that, like... Is that like, oh. local restaurants, yeah, like, you mean? But, like, like but like the divey or, like, the nice divey stuff, you know? Like, um... Like Owl Brewery? Yeah. There's a word for it, and I can't think of it. <laughs> but, like, we have that stuff around. We just never go there. Hipster. <laughs> yeah, kind of that. Like, the hipster places. Like, we have a lot of that around us, Did but we, we never go. Any? I mean, I I've, like, eaten time. at places like that on occasion. It's just, like, I'm not... Like, we don't live right next... I mean, we eat at Yats, and Yats is, like, an Indianapolis staple and is cool. I do like Yats. Um, if you're I mean, when in I, like, Indiana, get Yats. lived straight downtown, I did eat at places like that, but I don't live downtown anymore, so I... But like, Broader Bowl's not far away. And, I mean, when we go there, like, there's a bagel place that me and Mandy like that's, like, kind of a hole-in-the-wall, kind of divey place. And it's not really divey, like, they're all fancy restaurants Wait, that are just how, not super expensive. Well, I, I, when it's this? not a chain, I consider it divey to a certain degree. Oh, I need to Well, dives are, scatters, like, yeah. sketchy. Di like, there was a well, dive when I was place. living in Fountain Square that was, like, a greasy, gross diner that was really not that oh, good, but we ate this. there because it was 24-hour. Is... Like, that's a that, that's I what I would consider, like, a right dive. Now. Nope, I'm gonna turn into Ron that's so we can have scabbers, because I don't know how to do this. Oh, I thought I was Ron. No, you're like, the, stuff in Broad you're Ripple's not really oh, okay. a dot. Well, actually, that, that Mexican place we ate at Broad Ripple's a little bit divey. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't, like, super fancy looking. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that Mexican place. It really no, it was it was good. It's just, like, it, it wasn't, like, super nice looking. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was surprised we got seats there with how small it was. Right? Like, El Amigo's a dive, but El Salto's not. Talking about our hometown. Well, my hometown. Where you went to college. Whatever. How are you supposed to do that without an, I don't know. Without a what, a mouse? I think you're supposed to have to switch and use the Polyjuice Potion. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Yay, we did it! Oh, and now we gotta be Hermione. No, you don't. No, you Nothing. can just go right, right down oh. in there. Cool, bye guys! 
Okay. The red sparkly ones you need to be evil for, Caitlin. Ah. Uh. So oh, if you were in the game, I think you I, could. Oh wow! <laughs> Not oh, wow! Out. It's cold. <laughs> I think, I think I'm stone cold. I'm, I'm blocking your best friend from getting to you, though, Caitlin. <laughs> oh man, Bombadil's mm -hmm. really upset that he can't just be sitting all over someone that isn't his owners. Yep. <laughs> Our dog just does not have the time of day for us. I think it's because we give him more attention. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> I meant, but like, oh, like, this is the really tunnel really where Harry goes to get into Hogsmeade. But like, no, but like Ooh. in his mind, when we're over here, we give him like attention, like whenever he wants it. When I like cuddle him. Where's constantly. Lumos? Uh, it's the white. It's the, bear. Yeah, yeah oh, but you, okay. but even with constantly, you have like you have to do laundry and cook dinner, and you know. Uh, <laughs> that's for, fair. Like for us, like our percentage of time. Yeah, is greater, like a hundred percent of the time you spend with him, you're being. Like, all giving him attention and stuff. Right, whereas in, like, not 100% of your time, even though, like, your time is uh, vastly this more is gonna significant. Be right. No, I get you. Yep. I get you. Like, the hours I, you see him a week is I all for Bombadil. I miss this a lot the, for a while, so... However many hours are in a week that you spend with, you know, like... I don't think you quite <laughs> got that one on there. Yeah, maybe you do. Go, Caitlin. Hey. Okay. Now we yeah. have to move them, huh? There's so much of this game I do not remember. Ah, yeah, there's sorry, a lot of it that's a little bit it. forgettable. Like, I remember when me and Mandy were oh, playing this shit. game a lot, like in college, I would fall asleep playing it. What? Like, we'd be in the middle of a mission and I'd just pass out. And then I'd, like, wake up and Mandy's, like, way farther in the game. I'm like, oh, I have not been pulling my weight. <laughs> okay. Because it'd be, like, you know, 10 o'clock at night, we'd be finally sitting down to play this because we'd get a minute. And then, uh, yeah, I'd, no, I'd fall frick! asleep. No, no, no! Bombado, what are you licking? Oh, the game's just being tooly, too. Oh, no. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, like, cause they'll, like, jump across. Can you across move closer to yeah. that thing? Okay, that's... No. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh. <laughs> okay, you can do it! <laughs> Caitlin, you have to click A. No, you have to jump. I did. No, you. Well, I hit the button. <laughs> you're... you're not jumping. <laughs> Caitlin, I don't don't do anything. Just click A. Okay. That's what a jump looks like. No, okay. click A then was, push forward. I wasn't doing that. There you go. There you Yay! go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. Something like that happened. I to did me so the well in the first, first one, right? Didn't you see? I did. I was very proud of you. Good. Oh, you ready for another one? No. <laughs> oh, you gotta shoot. get the torch. <laughs> well, Harry's, Harry's just levitating. Sacrifice. <laughs> His last act in life. It's he's a Why did to deposit you well, there? That's terrible. Thanks. Jump, 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 jump. Okay, no, you're good. You're good. Harry, Harry, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hey, hey, Mandy, I just want you to look at the scoreboard. Oh, my gosh. You guys are so it's bad. It's like a no! side pat. Well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> when it doesn't... No! Hit Y! Hit Y. There you go. No! <laughs> Only hit it once. There you go. go. Okay. There's okay. two of him. It's fine. It's like, doesn't count. Interchangeable. Only one has to survive to the end, coding? right? Maybe. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't do this. Yeah, you can. Oh, no, there's no, a dementor. I can't. Yeah, you can. Oh, no, no you Harry can't. can't do it. Why can't he dementor things? Because he didn't learn. Because yeah. Oh, right, because he sucked I at mean, it at first. I mean, Fred can't either. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. You, you, you've yellow. got the yellow right there. Yeah. Oh, that's so dementor? I thought it was the no, white thing. Dementor. You're not fighting a dementor. You're fighting uh, uh, a uh, A horcrux. Oh, okay. Where'd he go? You're you fighting go a Stolfos. Go closer. Oh, there we go. There. No, hit it. Oh, he's going to start breaking it. Oh, no, he's a baby. Look, Fred's afraid of babies? babies? No, it's Voldemort. Oh. And he made okay. him into a baby because that was cute. Gotcha. It's another I'm gonna go baby. with Fred's afraid of babies. It's another ugly baby in this one. Right. Ah, this is such an ugly puzzle. No, yeah, you got it. Well, kind of. No, oh, there you go. And then that needs to be the nose one. <laughs> It's like, it hurts a little bit when she's just doing in the middle of somewhere and then just goes straight off a cliff. 
You know, like, you were standing there, and all of a sudden I see you run and dive off a cliff. <laughs> you know, if it was this hard to get to Hogsmeade, I'd just be like, skip it! I don't care! I don't Maybe want to go to Hog going. Hogsmeade. She wants oh, the okay. points. I'll see you never. You can walk without her, Caitlin. I know, I was, mm. I was <laughs> ready to watch her fall off. <laughs> Caitlin was hoping I would die too. Go get the blue coin, Caitlin, get the blue coin! Go up the ladder, go up the ladder, go up the ladder! It's mine! Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh, come on, Caitlin, you're- That is the most disappointing thing. I hate that level, that little <laughs> mini level thing. It's oh, awful. they fist bumped! Yeah, they did! Hey, remember Boom. the point, the thing- Is it in this movie, or is it in the- In the fifth one? No, I think it's this one, when he's like, on the, the invisibility cloak. And then he steals Neville's lollipop. No, okay, so <laughs> I actually what? I actually uh, read something where it looks like it looks like he steals it, but it just gets stuck on the cloak. Cause otherwise it would disappear. When does he steal someone's lollipop? I don't know. It's still kind of a low blow. Which book is it? It's Fifth it's one? a third movie and it's uh It's when he first gets in the candy shop. He goes and takes Neville's lollipop while he's invisible. Oh, wow. He's a jerk. Oh, so I watched a really wonderful TED Talk called... Uh, I think the title, title was like, Travis McElroy gives a fake uh, TED Talk. And they actually give a real, is it like an actual It's talk? an actual TED Talk, but it's like a TED Talk about why you should be okay with being a Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> it's like for the perspective of just some random Slytherin that like is like, okay. and then at the end of the year when you're so excited to email your or to, to send a an owl to your mom and tell her that you've won the house cup, Dumbledore comes out and just arbitrarily gives it to the Gryffindor. <laughs> it was really funny. In Dumbledore's defense, points are so arbitrary. It's like whose line is it anyway? Right. That book, especially when Snape's just like. I don't like you. Minus 50 points. Well, I mean, he's like minus 5 points when he doesn't like someone. But he does it consistently to all of them. Yeah, Snape's a bad person, but, you know. How did I get over here? I'm sorry, my slurping at almost gone Diet Coke is gonna show up on the recording a little bit. I can't get it on this last little bit here. See if you can get it. Where are we putting it? Um, where the ice is, like right in front, like down. Oh, where the snowman is? No, 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 no back. The, the snow pile right in front. Yeah, of right there. Oh. Yay! Yeah, that's kind of a fun level. It's kind of miscellaneous, but we're about to light the snowman on fire. And it's Christmassy! <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> oh, I'm dead! <laughs> Look, it's Christmassy! Kill it! <laughs> so my favorite thing from Frozen, or that came because of Frozen, is the Frozen as a horror movie trailer. <laughs> Me and my sister quote it to each other all the time. Like, we'll just be walking around and be like, Wanna build a snowman? <laughs> yeah, as you sneak up creepily behind the other... It's pretty great. <laughs> like, I just, I had a really horrible thought when you said, so my favorite part of, or my favorite thing that came from Frozen, and like, my mind so just... So, <laughs> I think we just skipped a whole lot of stuff. I don't think you skipped a lot of stuff, you're in a snowball fight Wait, now. Wait, Cody, where did your mind go? <laughs> my mind was immediately just like, was Elsa porn? And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, that's just like what I thought you were gonna say, and it <laughs> didn't happen that way. <laughs> no. Oh, Wait, man. Elsa porn. What? <laughs> you know, like... That does, yeah, that fits with Zach a lot. Right? <laughs> Just such a pervert. Oh, oh man. I feel it, uncomfortable. Like, stop talking about me in a weird way. <laughs> it said oh. I went to the wrong place. I wasn't kidding. You I keep making kidding. this... Like, well, this is, like, supposed to be our PG one. Well... And in every year, we've had something... Let me tell you, with ah. five views, I'm not super worried. <laughs> Just because it's only us watching these so far doesn't mean it's not yeah. meaningful. <laughs> um, well, it means I'm not as worried about censorship. Mm. You can't censor my bad jokes. Yeah. This is what happens when it gets late at night. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Just so many snowballs. All right. uh. There we go. Alright, just gotta no hit him back one more. You know, like, I was doing real strong, like, oh, no and then I just hit a wall, and I'm like... What do you mean you hit a wall? All you have to do is chat. 
I know, but I'm tired. Right, see, this is why I said one more episode. Hey, don't worry, I'm gonna hit a second win pretty soon here, so. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, he gets a now tank. Now he's in an igloo? Oh, no. I love this. Also, like, wouldn't he realize at this point that Harry is, in fact, here? I. Th oh, gosh. <laughs> well, apparently. Take that, Ron. I think he's gonna hit Hermione there. <laughs> yep, sure oh, is. Yep. Yeah! Snowball it. Oh, you gotta shoot him. Shoot him in the face! No, you gotta you gotta reflect that one back. Oh, oh. you gotta do the big one. That makes... Damn it. Shoot. Mandy! Uh, language! Jeez, Mandy. This, this is, is supposed to be our PG one. It's been a wholesome podcast up until now. This is not a <laughs> podcast. It's been... Dang Ron. it! You <laughs> cannot shoot that snowball! Holy hippie! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> might take a bit. There you go! There. Now you got it. Now you got it down to a science. I like how Crab this and Goyle are just sitting there. This reminds me so much of um every Zelda game where you fight Ganondorf. Right, yeah. It's like that standard <laughs> thing of like, hit the thing back at the thing. Have you ever Repeat. Played, have you ever played like the top-down ones where it's like, you just stand as close to him as you can, just keep slashing, and it's like... I have not, actually. I haven't really played many of the top-down Zeldas. Like, I've played them a little bit, but I just end up getting bored. Some are better than others, but I... I don't know. I really, really like Zelda games, but I don't always finish them. Like, there's a lot I haven't finished. Yeah, some of them are hard. It, like, takes a long time, and eventually, I don't know, I, I kind of get done with games eventually. Yeah, Twilight Princess, man. Yeah, I can't It was, like, the part where... Uh, the first time... I feel like I finished... I think I finished it eventually, but, like, I remember quitting at a point where I was, like, trying to get statues to, like, follow me through a part of a temple or something, and I just, like could not get it and it just took so long and i'm like i'm just tired of this also zelda's one of those like game what? metrics i use to figure out that i'm actually good yeah, at video games now one of those, like, just or at least adequate things. yeah like as a child i'm like oh these are so hard and now like i play through zelda games and it's like why did I struggle? <laughs> when I went back and played Ocarina of Time after beating Dark Souls and I like got into combat and I was like, there's no stamina. I'm invincible. All I have to do is keep my shield up. And I was like getting way too into it and I was like, okay, I don't actually have to try this hard. Like I can just kind of hit A a bunch and I'll win. You could have done the three heart challenge. <laughs> yeah, right? That would have been fun. Man, I love what Ocarina are we doing? of Time, though. Uh, we're just shooting things right now. The one I really like is Majora's the, uh, Mask. And I don't I don't think it's, like, we're doing that great of a game. I just like the, the concept way. of the mask yeah, so man. much. I didn't. Like, I keep trying to play it, and I just end up, like, not really liking the game very much. Well, the thing is, it's, like, all, like, weird fetch quests. Yeah. I think that's part of why I didn't... I don't know. It just, like, didn't... I did not have a lot okay. of drive to play the game. You know what Let's I mean? Let's see. Like, I didn't feel like I was really on a quest, it just, like, kind of felt like, do s stuff randomly, a bunch, and I'm like, eh. I like how Link just isn't important. Yeah. Like, well, it's refreshing, because, like, Link's always, like, the hero of time, and that one, he's just, like, some random kid. Yeah, you're just kind of, like, part of the story, you're not the whole story, yeah. Well, you're not even, like, really part of the story, you just make yourself part of it. Right. we have to do. Um... I think you need another broom on that. Uh, I don't know. I enjoyed it. I haven't. We haven't played Breath of the Wild yet, though. So yeah, I'm excited to play that eventually. I, I have mixed feelings about it. Well, I'm, cu I'm I'm curious to give it a chance. You know what I mean? Because like I'm, I'm it's different, it and I'm curious to see if it's good. Oop, sorry, I just kicked oh, the mic hardcore. Yay! Yeah, I'm curious how it is, but. Ever, a lot of people are like, yeah, it's like Zelda Skyrim. I'm like, I didn't ever want Zelda Skyrim. Yeah. Where are you that, going? It um, depends well, if they keep, like, the tone of Zelda, but just have, like, the openness and, like, breath of Skyrim. <laughs> I love that. I love that idea that you can make, like, a perpetual motion machine, machine. <laughs> by just attaching brooms <laughs> and just being like, go, and it'll just spin forever. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know. You gotta be over 18. It's a bar. Or have an invisibility cloak. <laughs> That's the game that I'm hoping for, but I never think will happen, is Elder Scrolls 6. 
Oh, uh, it'll probably come out eventually. I just think it's gonna be a little bit. I'm kind of. I I'm okay with them taking their time though. Cause like it'll probably be in VR too. I, well, my problem is more so now. It's not that they're taking their time. It's that they keep re-releasing Skyrim. Yeah. If they're gonna re-release them, like like update Oblivion or Morrowind or. Well, and I agree with that actually, but because I would play those, like I would. What gets me is why they don't put it into like Skyrim's engine. I know it'd be a ton of work, and I get that part. Like that makes sense to me. But like everyone who played Skyrim would buy it. Yeah. Like. Well, and there's actually, yeah. like, there was a... For a while, there was, like, a mod that was that. Uh, it's... It's no. still yeah, kind of in development. So yeah, it's, I don't think it's ever actually gonna finish now. Yeah, well, it's because they keep, like, adding more and more to it. They're, like... I also think it's stalled. I, I don't think the website's updated in a long time. Okay. Because, like, for a really long time, they're like, oh, yeah, we're doing this, and they kept getting more people to want to do it, so, like, oh, we can do more, and they got yeah. to that, like, perpetual loop. Yeah. I do, I do think it'd be interesting what Kalen said about maybe, like, if they're all virtual... Re I'm kind of curious if the VR stuff takes off in the future. Here's the thing, is like... I think it would for something like Skyrim, just because it's supposed to be such an immersive world. I don't know if I could handle already. that, though, like, being virtual reality with, like, giant fears of mine. Well, that's true. And also, like, it is, like, you do get some fatigue from it, like, because when I was in college, I did, like, research projects with it. Uh, with, like, the Oculus Rift and stuff like that. So I got to use it to play, like, Skyrim and um, oh, Portal really? and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was... Portal would be disorienting. It, it yes. was. It was, It was like, cool, but, like, I don't crave that. But then again, I'm, like, kind of getting old for the gaming community. So, like, they're not making games just with me in mind. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, also because I don't spend any money on games, well, so I'm definitely with, not the target audience. My problem with Portals, I think I'd get motion sick from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, even, like, playing Skyrim, though, like, eventually, like, your eyes do get really tired from, like, staring at it for too long. Uh -huh. And so, like, I found that kind of more tiring than I did appealing after a while. Like, once the novelty wears off, the game isn't any better. Yeah. Mm. And it's not really more immersive. It's just, like, it, it's an incon It's like a hassle, because you can't see what's going on, and, like, mm -hmm. you, you can't, like, have a conversation with your friends, and you can't mm. look at something else, or you're just, like, stuck in Skyrim, and I'm like, I don't really... Right. I like, I usually have, like, a movie on while I'm playing Skyrim, because it's friggin' boring. Yeah, what I want is Mistborn the video game in VR, because that's... Ooh. Like, the magic is made for, like, 3D stuff, you know? That's true. And I want to go flying around the top of the city well and there's like novelty with stuff <laughs> yeah but like, like any like kind of like flying stuff like that with vr is kind of like appealing in a way mm -hmm. um but it does definitely eventually kind of get exhausted it, it got exhausting for me mm -hmm. they are that makes doing sense. A, speaking of brandon sanderson though they're doing a stormlight vr um all right so that's where we're gonna end this episode of the wandering gamer network plays lego harry potter year three bye, bye. bye. keep wandering Hey everyone, and thanks for watching this episode of The Wandering Gamer Network Plays, Lego Harry Potter. If you'd like to hear more content from The Wandering Gamer Network, check out the link to our website in the description below. We have several actual play podcasts for games like D&D 5th Edition, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, City of Mist, and several other systems. So if you're interested, check it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time, Wanderers.